Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video, we're actually going to go under the hood of the Google Chrome settings and show you how to adjust your privacy and security settings. Check it out. Hey guys, so we're at the computer here. So again, I'm on Windows 10. The first thing that we're going to want to do, of course, is open up Google Chrome. You can do that either by accessing it through your start menu or if you have it down on the taskbar, just click on that and open up the Chrome browser. Next step, what we're going to do is come up to the top right corner and click on the vertical stack dots and then come on down to settings. And then we're going to scroll to the bottom and click on advanced. What that's going to do is it's going to basically extend the advanced menu. And right there at the top, you're going to see privacy and security. This is the section that we're going to focus on today through on Google Chrome. We will be doing videos uh, later on for the different browsers. So today we're going to focus on Google Chrome. So we're going to go through these pretty quick. We're not going to go crazy in depth with what these are. But however, I will leave a link with an article that was written. And I'll leave that in the description below the video. You guys can go and, and look at some of these in, in depth if that's something that interests you. And then, of course, with any of these, if you want to toggle them on or off, you can flip the switches as you go along. So, of course, if they're grayed out, that means they are off. If they're blue, that means they're on. So, use a web service to help resolve navigation errors. Basically, what that does is when it's on, it'll go through. And if you have any kind of navigation errors, it will give you relevant sites or similar sites to help you get to the websites that you want to uh, if you're having those kind of errors. So again, that's on by default. All of these you can see right here are on by default. The rest are off by default. Uh, user prediction service to help complete searches and URL typed in the address bar. As you notice, if you're typing something up here in the address bar or the URL bar, you'll notice that underneath it, it will give you suggestions. That's what this setting does. If you turn that off, it will turn off those suggestions. All that does is it sends the data over to Google and allows them to say, oh, you must be looking for this. And you can click on that website and, and go a little bit quicker. So uh, use a prediction service to load pages more quickly. Very self-explanatory. It predicts what you're trying to look for and it will load those pages more quickly. Uh, automatically send some information and page content to Google to help detect dangerous apps and sites. If you want to use your computer to help Google determine which sites are good or bad, you can check this on and it will send you that, send that data over to Google servers and they can help determine if there's any other sites that could be potentially dangerous. It will use your computer to help determine that. So that is off by default. Protect you and your device from dangerous sites. Again, this is on by default. If you go to a dangerous website, it's you know, Google will throw up a page that says, hey, this is a dangerous website. Are you sure you want to continue? You can either click continue or go back. If you do continue, that puts the liability on you. They've warned you and uh, you continue to proceed. So that is on by default. Automatically send user statistics and crash reports to Google. This is off by default. What this does is if you have it on, it will send information about your usage to Google servers. And then if there's any kind of crashes, it will automatically report that to Google so that it can help them debug uh, any type, any potential bugs that could be in their browser with different, uh, different uh, computers, et cetera. So again, off by default, send a do not track request with your browsing traffic. Basically, if you want this on, it will send a do not request uh, with your browsing traffic. I'm not quite sure exactly what that means. Uh, that is down in the article down below the video. Uh, use a web service to help resolve spelling errors. If this is on, what that's going to do is it's going to force your browser to use Google's um, auto spell check and send that information over to there. And then, they'll, of course, they'll send you some uh, different ways to resolve that error. Uh, if that's off, it will use typically any web service that has the spelling errors. It will not force you to use Google Chrome from what I understand. So manage certificates. We're not going to go in depth into here. That just has to do with HTTPS. And that's a very advanced setting. Uh, content settings, you can go in here and it will list any type of website that you go through. Each website can have cookies, location, camera. This allows you to go in and basically customize what you want those websites to be able to access. So that can go pretty in depth. We're going to jump out of that. And then of course, clear your browsing data. What this does is it goes through and you can clear out history, cookies, cache files, and images. Sometimes your computer over time will download, or actually not sometimes, every time your computer will download cookies over time, basically to help web pages load faster. If you want to go and clear that data out, because over time it can take up a significant amount of space, especially with the uh, way internet and the way HTML and how heavy things are getting as far as media related, you can go through and, and basically get that space back. So with the basic settings, it's just browsing history, cookies, and then cached images. And you can do it from the last hour all the way up until since you downloaded the browser and started using it. So advance, same thing, last hour all the way up to the time that you downloaded the browser. But this includes passwords, autofill form data, content settings, hosted app data. So if you don't want passwords to be saved 
or you want to fill out, if you're on like Amazon and you go to check out an order, you'll notice that it may automatically fill in your address. You can come in here and you can cl clear that form data. And of course, again, do it the specified time that you want. So once you've got your setting there, you click on clear data, this window will disappear. It'll take you back to the search settings. And it's a good idea to either restart the browser or the computer for those changes to fully take effect. Otherwise, that is just a quick overview of the privacy and security. Again, down in the description, I'll leave that link so you can kind of get some in-depth look on what exactly these do. But uh, that is just the basics of how to adjust the privacy, privacy and security of the Google Chrome browser. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. Hope you guys were able to learn something about the Google Chrome settings. Leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe and we will see you next time.